Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial featuring this smoked out teal makeup look. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a like and please subscribe. Thank you. So I'm just going to go in with the Carnival XL palette and I'm just taking the shade Showboat, which is that one there, and I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. I have primed my lid and I popped on some Revolution concealer. So I'm just going to take the Showboat colour and just pop that all over my lid and just using patting motions to pop that on, just like so. I'm just popping that in that part of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush going with the shade Ecstasy, which is this one here. It's just a neon green shade. Just going to pop a little bit of that on the inner part of my eye. And just blend that in. So I'm just going to go in with that shade there which is Cairo and I'm just going to pop that on the outer part of my eye and that's just going to be the crease colour. Blend that all the way around and just carving out that shape. I don't want to bring it too high but I just want to bring it just about there. I'm also going to go in with a flat angled brush and I'm just going to wet it. And I'm going to go in with that shade Cairo again. And this is just going to give it a metallic look. And then I'm just going to blend that out and tidy that up slightly and you can always go in and reshape it afterwards but I'm just blending that out just to get that shape to it and then I'm going to go in with the Barry Yen Glitter Cream Palette and I'm just going to take this shade here which is a really nice turquoise kind of shade. It's got different types of glitters in it. And just popping this on the centre of my eye. And it's such an easy product to use. You literally just pop it on. And it's definitely better applied with your fingers. And then for the inner corner I'm actually going to go in with this colour here. I'm popping that in the inner corner. And then I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm going to go in with a angled brush and I'm just going to take this same shade to about pop that underneath my eyes. I want this to be like the base colour. I'm then going to go in with the shade Nuke which is a foresty green colour and pop that on top just like so to this look and then I'm going to go in with my Lancome black eyeliner I hate doing this it just feels nasty and then I'm just going to pop on some eyeliner and then next I'm going to go in with some moisturiser foundation I'm just going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Paula's foundation. And then just taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. So 
I've just blended out my concealer and then I'm going to go in with my what have I done with it? My Laura Mercier setting powder. Just going to use that to set the area on my face. Any kind of shiny, shiny areas where I've just concealed, I'm just going to pop that. And then for my eyes, I'm just going to go in with Sue Holly Primark Lashes. So next I'm just taking my Morphe palette and I'm just using that to contour. I've just popped that on my cheekbones and just to contour my head. And now I'm just going to contour my nose with that. Uh, I don't really contour properly just because I just... I just so I've just popped on some of that bronzer. Then next I'm going to go in with a Shine Bright highlighter from Doll Beauty. And this is just a really nice iridescent gold shade and I'm just going to take the Morphe highlighting brush which is just this tapered one and just pop that on the highest parts of my cheekbones and then the center of my nose bridge And then I just like to apply a bit of that too. Just underneath my brows. And I prefer doing this before I do my brows as well because I always do that bit anyway. And then just my cupids a bit. And then for my brows I'm just taking my usual which is a 3-in-1 brow pencil from Primark. And I'm just going to use a pencil side and just I'm going to lightly colour them in, I don't want them to be too perfect or too dark. So I'm just going to make them slightly darker. I'm going to brush them out and fluff them up a bit. Just like so. I'm just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty highlight now and just pop this on top of the Shine Bright one, Shimmer. I'm just going to pop that gently over the top of the Shine Bright one. I like to mix them because the Shine Bright one is more of a gold tone, whereas the Fenty one is more of a silver speckle kind of colour. And then for lips, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Leo. This is always a go-to for me. I just feel like this kind of eye makeup as well would be perfect with this colour. I have a liquid lipstick and I'm going to hold a new one because this one's running out. And the only reason I actually fell in love with it was because my sister bought it me in one of the vault sets for Christmas last year. And they literally wear it all the time, it's lasted so long. And it's my favourite shade from the collection. That one and Celebrity Skin are the best liquid lipsticks, especially if you're looking for like a nude liquid lipstick. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna pop some gloss on top of that. Another thing you can do as well is if you need it to be more blended, you want to wring it out, I would just do that now. If you want your eyeshadow to be slightly more dramatic, and that's what I would do. And I'm just going to go in and add a bit more of that colour underneath my eyes just to deepen that a bit. So this is the finished makeup look, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give me a like and please subscribe, it really does mean a lot and thank you so much for taking the time to watch it as well.